Hi everybody, this is Felicia and I'm here with a challenge for the Something Inspirational team. My challenge this month is to come up with something new. So I decided to go ahead and use my brand new hip kit that just came in the mail about maybe about a week ago. So I'm showing you some of the goodies that are in the kit here as you can see. And I'm going to be using some of these goodies, not all of them, but some of them for the layout for today. And here are some of the papers. I'm going to spread those out a little bit there. So I kind of went through this a little fast, but it's okay. <laughs> you kind of get the gist of it. So something new. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and create my layout with all the goodies that are in the kit. So I'm starting out here with these three by four photos uh, of South Lake Tahoe, which is where we go and visit every year, once a year, because I'm not a big snow person as far as living in it, but I will definitely go and visit it for a little while. So I'm getting those all trimmed down and I'm going to be matting those as well. And I'm going to be putting them here on this layout. As you can see, I'm matting it on a different color blue and then I'm going to be putting that on the darker blue that you see in the background. And now that I've gotten these things mounted on to this paper, I'm going to start um, getting ready to put them down on the layout. Now, these pictures, these photos are not the only photos that I took when I went to Tahoe. I took a lot of photos, but I really, really love these photos because it's just, the snow looks so pretty. The way the light hit it and the way the, the sun was just, you know, sparkling off of it, look, making it look like diamonds. It was so awesome. I really, really loved it. Um, so this paper here is from American Crafts and it has snowflakes on it as well as the other one that I'm going to be using that has snowflakes on it as well. And, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make these papers look like they're just one by adding um, a blue strip here between the two different pieces of paper so that they don't clash, but it'll make it look like they belong together. So I'm trying to figure out how I want these photos and these photos, if I want them on top of each other or if I want them single. Um, I'm not sure how I want these photos to sit, so I'm going to leave them there for a second. Um, I'm eventually going to end up making them flat. So now I'm going to be adding these snowflakes, and these snowflakes are from the Pink Fresh Studios um, ephemera pack. And I also have those mittens, and looks like there's cups of ch uh, hot chocolate, maybe, and coffee. And I'm going to be adding that branding strip that you see right there that was from the bottom of that paper. So I'm just going to cut off a little tiny bit there so that it can look like it all blends. And then once I get all of that cut and everything on the, um, uh, and on the paper there, then I'm going to go ahead and stick these down. Once I get these all stuck down, um, um, these two pieces here, then I'm going to go ahead and put that blue strip between the two pattern papers so it looks like they all belong together there. So I'm going to be using my Scotch Quick Dry Glue. As you can see, I'm putting it down that strip. It just makes it easier for me to go ahead and put it down. All right, so see how it looks there. So it looks like one complete paper, and then I'm going to cut off that little excess on the edge there. Alrighty, so now I'm going to place my photos down here and they're going to go um, down single. They're not going to go one on top of the other or a little bit. And then I'm going to put that branding strip to divide the page. Um, I like that cute little branding strip because it has uh, hats and mittens and um, um, I think yeah, I think it's just hats and mittens on there. And I'm going to put those down there. And then I'm also going to put these puffy snowflakes on here as well. And those are also from Pink Fresh Studios, I think it is. Yes, they are. All right, so I'm going to try to make it look like these snowflakes are falling, but they're not going to go past the border, of course, that I have down here because down below is going to be something else. And I'm just going to scatter those up. Now that tag that you see right there, <laughs> um, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put that tag down there, where I wanted to put the tag. And I wasn't even thinking about the title at the time, so I totally forgot about that. Um, so here I am sprinkling down some of the silver star sequences and those are from Spiegel Mom scraps I love those and I'm trying to use them sparingly as you can see <laughs> and I'm getting ready to start gluing those down but I don't want you to see me glue those down because it takes forever to glue, glue those down it's well actually I should say it seemed like it took forever it probably took a little shorter time than that so um 
I put down the hot chocolate in the coffee and there's one cup missing that I'm going to fill in that little space there as soon as I find it. It's got flipped up on my desk somewhere and I eventually find it and you'll see it in the close-ups after um, I finish with the video here. And I'm going to use some foam squares to pop up these mittens because I want them to look, um, I don't want them to look so flat. And I'm going to put those down. And then once I get those down, then I'm going to start build, getting ready to um, glue down those little um, star sequins there, that you see the silver ones there, and, uh, and the snowflakes. So I'm putting those down as well. And I'm going to be popping up some of these snowflakes because I don't want this whole layout to look flat. So I want it to have a little bit of interest. And so I'm going to be using the snowflakes and putting some down and popping them up. Yeah, this looks really cool. I like how this looking you know, turned out. I really like the different color snowflakes. They're not just white or they're not just gray. They're all different colors. And this is a great ephemera pack here that uh, we got. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. Alrighty, so now I'm going to start gluing down those silver stars, but I don't want you to see me do that. <laughs> so that is all done, as you can see. That was the quickest. <laughs> and um, there I go again with that tag. Now, this is where I realized, oh yeah, that's right. I forgot the title goes down here. <laughs> so what I do is I get these puffy stickers and those are exclusively uh, for Hip Kit. And I decided to go ahead and start uh, putting down the title. Uh, well, trying to figure out how I'm going to put down the title, I should say. And then there you have it there. So, And I also put down uh, the gold snowflakes and that is from the uh, Hip Kit um, exclusive pack, I think it is. I'm not sure. But anyway, it is from the kit, so um, I'm going to put that down and I'm going to spell out uh, Majestic because that's exactly what it looked like to me when I was looking at it and I took this photo. And like I said, I got lots of photos of the South Lake Tahoe, but um, I, and I think I've scrapped um, probably about half of what I have already, so I'm not sure. So there I am putting down the title there, and then above the title is going to go some journaling. And I think I'm almost done here with the layout. I did not add any sprinkles, as you can see. <laughs> no sprinkles. <laughs> so this is going to be my last layout for the inspirational team. I really enjoyed it, like I said. And um, I'm really kind of a little sad that I'll be moving on. But I have a lot of studying coming my way. A lot of it has to do with the law. And I'm definitely going to make sure that I complete this properly and get the proper grades um, for this um, for these studies um, law is it's something else I'll tell you that much so but anyway um, almost done with this layout here and I think and then I show it to you of course and after I get all the little gold stars down and then I go back to putting down another star and you could then you could get to see how I truly scrap once you see the pace that I was doing that so but I'm going to go ahead and put these down and I am pretty much done with this layout so um well so I thought that is and then I realized see I'm showing you now so you can see some of the detail here in that nice little gold snowflake and those gold uh, puffy letters there and then I decided to go ahead and put that little star down in so you can see this is the true speed and how I actually scrap. <laughs> and that is why I don't ever scrap in the true speed <laughs> because, woo boy, or I should say real time. <laughs> I want to thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a great joy and a lot of inspiration has come from me joining the inspiration team. So I hope you've got a lot of inspiration out of all of this. And I want to thank you for watching. Have a great and wonderful day. Bye-bye. Yeah.